The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. For those dwelling in the land of deep gloom, a light has shone. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Stepping into the brilliant light of Christ, for the times we may have failed to walk in the light and to prefer the darkness, let us ask the Lord for his mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you who bestow light on all the nations, grant your people the gladness of lasting peace and pour out into our hearts the brilliant light by which you purify the minds of our fathers in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. My dear people, since God has loved us so much, we too should love one another. No one has ever seen God, but as long as we love one another, God will live in us, and his love will complete in us. We can know that we are living in him, and he is living in us because he let us share his spirit. We ourselves saw and we testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. If anyone acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God lives in him and he in God. We ourselves have known and put our faith in God's love towards ourselves. God is love, and anyone who lives in love lives in God, and God lives in him. Love will come to its perfection in us when we can face the day of judgment without fear, because even in this world, we have become as he is. In love, there can be no fear, but fear is driven out by perfect love because to fear is to expect punishment. And anyone who is afraid is still imperfect in love. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. O God, give your judgment to the king, to a king's son your justice, 
that he may judge your people in justice and your poor in right judgment. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. The kings of Tarshish and the sea coast shall pay him tribute. The kings of Sheba and Seba shall bring him gifts. Before him all kings shall fall prostrate. All nations shall serve him. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. For he shall save the poor when they cry, and the needy who are helpless. He will have pity on the weak and save the lives of the poor. All nations shall fall prostrate before you, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. After the five thousand had eaten and were filled, Jesus met his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to Bethsaida, while he himself sent the crowd away. After saying goodbye to them, he went off into the hills to pray. When evening came, the boat was far out on the lake, and he was alone on the land. He could see they were worn out with rowing, for the wind was against them. And about the fourth watch on the night, he came towards them walking on the lake. He was going to pass them by, but, they, but when they saw him walking on the lake, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they had all seen him and were terrified. But he at once spoke to them and said, Courage, it is I. Do not be afraid. Then he got into the boat with them and the wind dropped. They were utterly and completely dumbfounded because they had not seen what the miracles of the loaves meant. Their minds were closed. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. We are in the series of what the church liturgy calls the octave of the epiphany, which is simply the revelation, the manifestation, the making known of God's presence. As I've said, it doesn't happen instantly, but it goes in a very gradual progression, progressive way that God reveals himself to one in life. Yesterday we had this beautiful series of epiphany, of that manifestation, moved by compassion with love and mercy to the crowds. He taught them at length. He revealed the word to them. And secondly, he fed them. He fed them with bread, which is simply a prefiguration of the Eucharist, the Word of God, the table of the bread. It's a whole experience of how God reveals himself. Today, it's a very interesting gospel text, one of my favorites, how Jesus again reveals himself in the prefiguration of this. Two beautiful ways, the walking on the water and the calming of the storm. It's an epiphany. It's a revelation. And the most important thing about this whole series of these two epiphanies is it happens in the night, in the darkness. When you cannot see the light, it's in the darkness. And that is when you are struggling with it. 
Jesus has just fed them. And the reason they can't see it because Mark says their minds were closed. They didn't understand what was happening. When you're close to God's revelation, you will never be able to see him. You will never be able to see him. And when that happens, my dear friends, fear creeps in. Fear will take hold of you at that moment. Fear cripples them in the darkness of that night. In that moment when they saw the Lord, because they were tired, they were tired rowing the boat, and they had no sense of direction where they were going. It was dark, and the winds were against them. Sometimes you and I will find this. I have found this in many moments of my life. When the winds are against you and you feel you're alone, the Lord says, do not be afraid. It is I. It is I. He got into the boat and at once he calmed the storms. And their minds were open. What is the whole experience of this epiphany simply is the first book of John today, Abide in the Lord. Because 1 John 4, 18, perfect love casts out all fear. Perfect love will cast out all fear. God is love and love is God. He who abides in love abides in God and God is with them. It casts out all fear in the first reading. At once they realize it was the Lord. Let us ask the Lord the grace today as we continue this series of the Epiphany. The Lord is with us, Emmanuel. <coughs> Blessed are Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of all creation, to your goodness we have this wine to offer. Through the wine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by our partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and in heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ, and when he appeared in our mortal nature, you made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the host and power of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body of Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. In giving you thanks, Father, he broke the bread. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving you thanks, Father, he gave the chalice to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Sebastian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Faustina and John Paul II, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, to praise, to glorify you, to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins on the fate of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. We'll take a moment to offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The life which was with the Father has become visible and he has appeared to us.
Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and whom you sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever-deepened trust for the things of eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Prayer for the sinner. We, we stand, stand before, before you, you, Holy Spirit, Holy spirit as, as we gather together, together in your name. name. With, with you alone to guide us. us. Make, Make yourself, yourself at home in our hearts. hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let the ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All these we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Have a blessed day and stay safe. Same to you, Father.